What's up everybody, Barnon 11970 thank you as always for watching my videos, and I just want to say to my subscribers out there, the method to my madness is never being afraid to say something, even if it's not the most popular thing. Um, I want to thank you guys for being able to have a heated debate with some of you, and not get it to the point where we're name calling or insulting or anything like that. That is what we all need to do, but I want you to keep something in mind. We should never be afraid to question anything or anyone. And like I said about Chris Duane, I've never said that he's an idiot, never said he's a moron, never said he was the devil. I've said this is just my opinion, and he does have the right to sell silver for whatever he wants. But all I'm saying is, if he would have started out his videos on day one and said, I'm going to talk about truth, and if you want, I also have some silver I'm going to be selling... I would have more, give more credibility to him. Now, I'm not saying this information isn't helpful. It isn't useful. But I've said in a statement that I've said several times, and I'll make this analogy again for those who have never heard of it before. There's an old saying that says, well, I don't know how old it is, but if you take 99 pounds of ice cream and mix in one pound of crap, what do you have? Well, you have 100 pounds of crap. So... I'm not here questioning that he didn't do good, but my thing is, and again, when I was a teenager in my early 20s, I was into cold call sales, I was a car salesman, I know the mentality that he built up an audience, got thousands of people to follow his message, and then as he got those people in, he started selling stuff that he knew those people would buy. It's getting direct audience free advertising. So I want people to understand that we're allowed to question people. And when you start influencing the lives of thousands of people, people are going to criticize you and attack you or even make an opinion on you. The average Joe Schmo on the street gets away with whatever they do because they don't influence many people in their lives. That's why people even attack me sometimes or make opinions about me or whatever, because what I'm doing is influencing other people. So it's a matter of opinion. The difference is there are people out there that the only way they can express their opinion is by cursing at people, making fun of them, making fun of them or insulting them. That's not the best way to do it. So to my subscribers, realize that my purpose is to get people thinking and talking. And if you see by that last video, I've achieved that goal. I didn't call Chris Duane anything evil. I'm just stating my opinion based on my past of being a salesperson and what my opinions are. And we are... To this point in life, still able to express our opinions. So to everybody that was watching that previous video, or any video, I thank the ones that can actually say things without attacking people, without insulting and making fun of, or turning it racial, or anything like that. But we should never be able to question people's true intentions. Because unless you are that person, you will never know. And that's why I would want people, if all of a sudden I started selling all of my silver and started making bar none rounds with my silver, I would want people to question my integrity as well. But I'll never do that. And I'll give you a prime example. I had the chance of actually selling like little t-shirts and stuff that said, you know, United States of America Corporation and make some money off of it. I chose not to do it. I don't put advertisements on my channel. I chose not to do it. Now, that doesn't mean if somebody does it, that means they're evil or they're wrong. I'm just saying, from my opinion, I feel like my message is the most important thing. And I'm not going to take advantage of people by trying to profit off of that. If you think that's fine, and absolutely that's the freedom of the world, we are all entitled to do whatever we want. So there's nothing wrong with making money. But my thing is, if somebody is setting you up, getting you to buy something so they can make plenty of money on it, and they continue to do that, you should be at least able to question their integrity. Doesn't mean they're wrong, doesn't mean they're evil, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't be able to question things. And like, for example, I own two of my own businesses. I'm a, a massage therapist, I rent space, and I'm a karaoke DJ, I have my own DJ equipment. It is not good business ethics to sell something and take people's money when you don't have the product ready for shipment. And if you realize that you're in over your head, you should postpone sales, give people their money back, 
or realize that it's just not something you should do. And if you watch some of Chris Dwayne's videos, he said this himself. He was very upset, and he would actually kind of make fun of the one, people that only bought one or two, saying they were his biggest problem. And that's not good business ethics because it doesn't matter if a person buys $1 million worth of product or $1 worth of your product. Every customer should be treated the same. And if you're going to go around insulting people because they couldn't afford to buy $600 worth of your silver or $1,000 worth of your silver, that is not good business ethics. So there were many a video that I've seen that people were waiting months and got very poor quality coins, and he had no problem taking your money right away. And then he would condescendingly on interviews with other people on his channel would say, oh, well, you know, if they're really that much, if they're really going to complain that much, we'll give them their money back. If you think that's proper business ethics, then start your own business. I'm stating my opinion, and I want you to state yours. Just do it adult like we've been doing so far. So thanks for watching, guys. Keep the opinions rolling, and please, guys, be free thinkers. Never be afraid to question anybody. You want to question me? Absolutely fine. All I ask is people do it in a way that doesn't spread lies, spread rumors, or does it in a racial or just a rude, nasty way. Calling people jerks, idiots, and morons is not the best way to live a life. And it's definitely not a way to show us that we're better people. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, I appreciate your comments. And I i think his name is I Warned You. Great heated debate. I love that stuff. We went back and forth giving information. We didn't agree on everything, but we didn't have to resort to name-calling and childish you know, insults to be able to have a conversation. So, And plus the fact you, you were the only person I've ever heard that said they thumbed down a video and explained why. I got mad respect for you for that. So even though we had a little bit of a debate, you're, you're not blocked. I respect your opinion. I just hope you'll be able to respect mine and realize we all have the right to make them, even if it's not something that you agree with. Thanks for watching, guys. Double peace. Quadruple peace.